And today was a perfect day Definitely. to have a livestock show. Yeah, nice and sunny once all the clouds cleared out and then it was nice and warm in the 70s. So that was really great right now. We don't have too many clouds out there. You can see that cold front working its way off through the um, Gulf Coast of Mexico. Temperatures going to get down into the 50s overnight, but right now, Nice and warm here in the coastal bend. So tonight again, we're going to get down into those 50s. We are cooler and drier tonight, not expecting really any rain showers, but the clouds are going to build back in overnight. Not expecting any fog though. Tomorrow, even though we had that cold front come through, we're still expecting above average temperatures. And again, the clouds are going to stick around and we're going to see some scattered rain chances. That comes from these little pieces of energy you see here in red and yellow. Those track into South Texas tomorrow and are going to combine with some leftover moisture and give us some scattered showers. However, if this goes a little bit further south, then we won't be seeing as much rain as I'm going to show you here in just a couple seconds. So the rest of this evening clouds look like they're going to clear out and then come right back. Unfortunately, temperatures tonight going to get into Middle 50s through the central coastal bend, a little bit cooler to our north, so lower 50s up towards Beeville. Then tomorrow afternoon, here's kind of how those showers could look on radar. I have about 20, 30% chance for those rain showers tomorrow. And again, if the, the energy tracks a little further north, this is kind of what we would be seeing. But if it goes towards our south, you'd expect more of these showers down towards Clayburg and Kennedy County. So tomorrow, again, it's going to be warmer than normal, but still pretty warm out there near 70 for our highs and then going into the rest of the evening tomorrow overnight with all the onshore winds bringing back lots of humidity. We have calm conditions overnight tomorrow. I think we're going to be seeing quite a bit of fog heading into Tuesday morning and then behind that as that clears out, I think the clouds clear out as well and we're going to see sunny skies by Tuesday afternoon and temperatures really going to warm back up into those upper 70s. So here's the reason that we're going to be seeing again all that fog broken down into little bite sized pieces. We've got that onshore flow returning as early as tomorrow. We're going to be seeing easterly winds that brings more humidity back here into the coastal bend and that onshore flow keeps coming and coming. But overnight the winds are pretty calm and they relax. So that gives us those foggy conditions heading in to Tuesday morning as well as into Wednesday morning. We may even see some fog there too, but winds are going to be a little bit more so not quite as thick a fog. I think we've got a little bit less humidity today th or tomorrow thanks to the cold front that came through today, but that again goes right back up and we see foggy conditions. And then another cold front comes through heading into later this week. There's that little piece of energy that'll give us the rain chance tomorrow. Then here comes that cold front making its way into the coastal bend by Thursday morning. I think we're going to stay dry though. I don't think we're going to see much rain if any at all and then high pressure comes in behind that and we get even cooler with temperatures finally near normal for Friday. So ton uh, tonight temperatures in the 50s, so nice and chilly out there tomorrow afternoon. 70 for our high the next couple of days. Well, there it is. It's going to warm up again, even though we just had a cold front. We're going to be in the 80s in about three days. And then finally by Friday, maybe we'll be seeing some normal temperatures for once here in South Texas. Brian.